Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I'm solving technical interview questions from Lead Code in JavaScript to help you for the upcoming interview. So I have a lot of questions already in my channel, so please check them out and leave me comments and subscribe if you like it. Or let me know in the comments which problem you want to do next. So today we have 844 backspace string compare. It has almost 3000 likes, 128 dislikes. So, you know, when you have high like to dislike ratio, it's a pretty good problem. So let's read the problem first. Given two strings S and T return true if they're equal when both are typed into empty text editor. Hashtag means a backspace character. Know that after backspace and an empty text, the text will continue to be empty. So we have A, B, string A, B, C, and then A, D, hashtag C. So when we hit the hashtag, we'll delete B and we delete D and it will become AC, so it will return true. Here's another example, AB two hashtags, CD two hashtags, it will become zero and it's true. Also A two hashtags, C, AC, it's true. And then A hashtag C and B will return false because we'll have C and B and they're not the same. So how can we solve this problem? So the way we're going to solve this problem is actually using stack. We'll loop over the string ABC. We'll add it to the stack, every character. And then we when we hit hashtag, we delete the last one. So we put A to the stack, B to the stack. Then we hit hashtag, we pop it from the stack and we put C. And then we convert it to the string and then become string AC and then we compare it to other string. So let's keep this diagram in mind and let's code it out so it'll help you to visualize the code. So first we'll say function, we'll create a helper function and call, call it parse. So we'll parse the string and we'll pass the argument string in that function. And then what are we going to do? We're going to create an empty stack and then we create the for loop for let i equal zero, i is less than string dot length i plus plus so regular for loop then we're going to say we're going to say if current element string i is is a hashtag is a hashtag sorry hashtag what are we going to do we're going to pop the item from the string we say stack dot pop the items from the string and then else if it's not a hashtag else sorry else We'll add it to the stack. We'll say stack dot push, and what we're gonna push? We're gonna push the current element, right? And then we, when we go through the for loop, we will return stack dot join. So we'll convert array to the string. So we'll convert array to the string, and then we simply say s equal parse s. So we'll parse the string. And then t equal parse t. So we had a b c and a d c. And then we go through our loop, we become a c and becomes a d. So s becomes a c, t becomes a d. And then at the end, we want to return s equals to t. So if equals t, we will return true. If it doesn't, return false. Let's submit and see how we've done. Uh, here's an error. Let's see what the error is about. 